Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to add a banner to your front page of your website. And I'm going to show you how to create that banner using uh, Photoshop Elements. So real quickly, uh, Photoshop Elements is a, a great program. It gives you all the essentials you need. There's also Adobe PS Touch, which you can use as well, which works a little bit different. And I'll probably do a tutorial on that as well pretty soon uh, for doing banners for your website. But let's start with Adobe Photoshop Elements and I'm going to go to open with Adobe Photoshop Elements and choose this picture here and uh, you can see right here I've got a pair of earrings and a necklace and I'm going to create this into a banner and just put a black border around it. And it's pretty simple. Basically what you want to do is you want to decide the proportions and I know that the proportions that I'm going to need are 302 by 200. If I go to my Shopify template or my theme uh, it's going to actually tell me depending on the theme that I'm using when I go to my home page and my banners it's going to say the size that you need to create those but so this specific one uses 302 by 200 so let's go ahead and do that real quick and let's crop it down to that proportion first which it's 302 so it's a little bit wider than it is um, than it is tall so let's go ahead and bring it so that we know nicely crop image that we know it's going to be able to crop from the height here so uh, we want it to be when we change the proportion we want it to be a little bit taller because we know that we're going to be cropping down from the height and from the top and the bottom so we want to leave a little border on both sides so I'm going to go ahead and crop this now I'm going to check the image size and I'm actually going to go to resize it as well so I go to image resize and image size on the top now it's in pixels right here and what I want to do is just change it to 302 and it's automatically going to change the bottom so it's over 200 that's what I wanted because I want to end up with 200 uh, and I've got this set to constrain my proportions down here and that's what you want to have uh, so let's go ahead and crop it now to bring it back up in size it just made the size smaller it just hit control plus 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 until you get the size uh, larger or you can go to view and increase your view on the menu. I'm doing this on a PC so it's a little different on a Mac. So let's go to crop it down to 200. So edit and go back our image and back to size and let's just go to canvas size and all we want to do is we want to get this it's in inches right here so we're going to change this back to pixels and we're just going to change not the not the width but we want to change the height we got the width at what we want 302 so let's change the height we want it 31 less than it is so we're just going to go minus 31 and that's going to be it. it's going to crop that it's going to say new canvas will be smaller so it's going to make some clipping occur that's why I said leave a little bit at the top and a little at the bottom it'll clip it uniformly from both the top and the bottom so let's proceed now it's brought it in pretty close so it's a good thing I have that little margin there last thing we're going to do is put a border around it we've got the size that we want it's 302 by 200 now we're going to select which is right underneath the hand tool here is the rectangular marquee tool and that's going to allow us to select the area that we want and let's put a border and this is one of the easiest ways to put a border on an item the other way is to create a canvas uh, of a different color and make it a new layer and put it below it slightly bigger than this and that's an easy way to do a uniform border as well. So we're going to fill the stroke outline here and um, we're going to go to stroke outline below fill and <laughs> stroke outline and uh, it's six pixels it's going to be black we could change that to any color we wanted if you click anywhere in here and you want to be uh, this is a shade of black but it's not absolute black but anytime you click near the black it's going to give you the option this is the actual color zero 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 is your color for black and if you want to be the web save color for black you just click this little box and you see it changes it all to zero 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 there so click OK and click OK we got it set to six pixels and it's got a nice black uh, border around it and all we're going to do is save that file save as uh, save as save it as a JPEG and we'll call it uh, the name I'm going to use is jewelry necklace and earrings set uh, banner now this gives us a little SEO power here 
uh, by naming it, set it as a JPEG. Google can read not only the words that are on your page, but the alternate text and the name of the image file. So it'll know what this image is if you do a description, and it's just something that a lot of people skip, and they lose that little extra SEO power they could be getting. So we're going to go ahead and create that. And now let's go to our uh, file where we have it in a folder, and it uh, should be right up here. Here's our little set right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to go to our themes in Shopify and we're going to add this in there. So let's go to our Shopify site. And as, you, as you'll notice, your themes are right below navigation here on the left-hand side. So we're going to go into the theme settings. On the top is your active theme. So if you want to change your theme, uh, you can go visit the theme store and it'll show you all the different themes you can use. So we're going to go into our published theme that we're using right here theme settings and we're going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom on theme settings and we're going to look for home page there's your home page here and we have uh, some large banners across the top and then this is going to be one of the small banners in the middle we're just going to choose the file go to our desktop find that folder here it is find the image that we want and uh, there's the image that we're using and now we've got our image we can check it out and take a look at it here there's what it looks like and let's see and if you just click on save it's going to save it and if we go to our website here's our image right in the center here and that's all there is to creating a banner. You want to make all of your banners the same height. So learning how to check your image size in Photoshop like we just did is going to allow you to create beautiful banners for your front page. Check out my website, pinehurstwebsites.com, to find out about creating beautiful banners for your front page. And you can click the link in the description below this video, and it'll take you to pinehurstwebsites.com. Again, I'm Kevin King, and you can find me at Kevin King Now on Yahoo or on uh, YouTube. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please share it and like it.